What's up guys? Today we're covering the rock cycle. Some unnamed sources have said it's boring, but we're making it interesting with Minecraft. So sit up, grab some popcorn, and enjoy. Let's start deep inside of the earth. Here, there is enough pressure to turn rock into magma. The magma flows underground into volcanoes. Here it will sit for a very long time. When there is enough pressure, the volcano will erupt. When the magma stays in the volcano, it cools much slower. These rocks have time to form crystals. This is called intrusive. Granite is an intrusive igneous rock. Granite has a coarse grain check texture and large crystals. From there, the rocks can either go to the surface through a process called uplift or go farther down. When the magma goes into a volcano and erupts out, it cools faster and normally doesn't crystallize. This is called extrusive. When it cools extremely fast, the magma can form volcanic glass. Obsidian and pumice are types of volcanic glass. Gas can be trapped in the magma, and when it cools, the gas escapes. This is why pumice has air holes. Obsidian has streaks and pumice is rough. Basalt is an extrusive rock that is not volcanic glass. Basalt has no crystals and has a fine grain texture. Once the rocks are at the surface, they get eroded by wind and rain and become small little grains called sediment. The sediment gets deposited at riverbeds. This process is called deposition. When sediment piles up and the pressure forces out fluids and grains get closer together, the process is called compaction. When dissolved minerals crystallize between sediments, it's called cementation. Minerals like quartz, calcite, and clay finish the formation of sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks that are made up of mineral and rock fragments are called clastic sedimentary rocks. Another type of sedimentary rock is chemical. These form when minerals crystallize directly from water and are largely made up of one mineral. The last type of sedimentary rock is biochemical rock. Biochemical rocks contain parts or were formed by organisms. Sandstone is a clastic sedimentary rock. Sandstone has a very rough texture where you can feel the other rocks. Limestone is a chemical sedimentary rock. Limestone has a hard, fine grain texture. Sedimentary rocks can also go through uplift, or they can be pushed down in extreme temperatures and pressure builds up. Coal is a biochemical sedimentary rock. This is how metamorphic rocks are formed. Gneiss nice and slate are examples of metamorphic foliated rocks. Marble is a very good example of a non-foliated metamorphic rock. After this happens, the cycle will then repeat. All right, let's do a little bit of a recap. First, we started deep underground where there was enough heat to melt rock into magma. The magma then moved into a volcano and either stayed in the volcano or got erupted out. 
After the magma had cooled into igneous rock, it got pushed up to the surface. It then got weathered and eroded and turned into tiny little grains called sediment. The sediment got compacted and cemented into sedimentary rocks. Those rocks got pushed back down into the surface and were put under extreme pressure and heat. The heat also allowed the rock to bend and curve because they were a little gooey. Those rocks then melted back down into magma and completed our rock cycle. Let's now go over all of the processes we learned about. When sediment gets put at riverbeds, it's called deposition. Combined pressure between sediment grains forces out gases and fluids. That process is called compaction. When dissolved minerals crystallize between sediment grains, we call it cementation. Uplift is when rocks get pushed to the surface of the earth. I hope you learned about the rock cycle and had fun doing it. Thank you, and now is the time to ask questions.